I decided to speedrun Minecraft where the world is the earth. And you see I spawned exactly where I spawned in real life, a bit outside London, and I chopped this tree down around Birmingham because who needs Birmingham? Head up to York, chop down another tree, and then steal a few crops from around the UK. I craft a boat and doors and I'm going to be heading straight away to Ireland just so I can steal a bit more of its crop yield. I managed to steal some carrots from Dundalk, Dublin, Carlo and Limerick and I'm going to boat straight to Iceland because this is where I'm going to be able to build my nether portal. So I dig straight down around the town of Djibouti and I'm going to start mining some of the stone because I need to get some iron so I can enter the nether. Here I'm actually only going to bother getting 4 iron because you're going to see I'm able to get the last 3 iron for the iron pickaxe in my bastion because it's faster than mining it here in the cave. And unfortunately because this is the world there's not that many generator structures with lots of loot in because it's, it doesn't have like all the cities and stuff obviously. Uh, while my iron's smelting I'm able to mine a bit extra cobble which I'm going to use to craft my stone tools and then I'm going to offhand this gravel to get the flint that I'm going to need and then I'm going to break the crafting table and now I'm able to have my flint as well as the iron from the bucket so I can build my portal and then enter the nether. Portal's going to be a bit difficult to build so you'll see I'm going to set it up around the town of Vic which fun fact with a population of 300 is the largest settlement for over 70 kilometers so unfortunately it's going to get a bit flooded here by my attempts at building a nether portal and then I'm going to head west get a bit more carrots and then dig down to get a bit of extra lava at the Fagradalsfall volcano which is actually erupting right now fun fact I'll show you some pictures and then I'm going to steal some more lava from the volcanoes of Katla and Oyafia Kirtle and this is going to be exactly 10 lava which is why I need to get the one from the other volcano back there and thankfully that's enough to enter the nether because there's other, there's, even underground there's no real lava pools I don't know, it's obviously just the way the map was created so I'm going to enter the nether and head towards my bastion and this nether isn't particularly great so the world is 1 to 18,000 scale which means that I'm actually going to have to go back to the original portal already had to go like 200 blocks to the nearest bastion but you see I'm going to get my iron here as I said and I also got gold boots from the other chest because it's just more convenient that way. And the other annoying thing about this bastion is it's a triple stables, which means I did get rolled quite a lot on trade luck, but it's okay because obviously I only have four gold blocks here and I need a lot of ender poles as I need at least 12 plus some more to travel as well as string for the run. While I'm here I actually use the furnace to cook the raw potatoes that I got from England and then once I've got a few pearls I'm going to do a pearl hang so back towards the original portal I unload the pearl which means it's just going to stay unloaded and then as soon as I massive put it back in render distance I'll teleport straight back there. So I head towards my, uh, my blaze fortress, well, I can't talk and then I'm going to start killing my blazes and you'll see I actually get initially quite bad rates but then at the end they pick up a bit and I end up going 6 for 12, 13, which is slightly below average, but it's not that bad. And then, as I said, it increased back to 32 chunks and it's going to send me back in that direction, because otherwise it'd be like a 700 block journey, which is just plain stupid. So then I leave my portal and I'm going to ban Iceland here, and I'm going to sail east towards my end portal, which is an interesting location. I would have slept in the Faroe Islands, but there was a skeleton there, so instead I sleep in the Shetland Islands. And I'm going to head southeast towards the Netherlands. I get out, then cross all the way across Germany. By the way, these walls are like borders, which I think is pretty cool. Head into Poland, then through Ukraine, cross a couple of rivers here. I do need time in more food as I cross into Russia. You'll see I get some carrots here. And then I, there's this end port in Kazakhstan. Why is it here? I don't know. But it's the site of the landing of the Soyuz 28 uh, spacecraft mission, which was some Soviet mission. Why? I don't know. It's a complete coincidence. They probably just put it in a random place. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe and comment what seeds you want me to speed run next. But for now, and I need to run out of hunger here, enjoy the one cycle.